thanks to uh, Doug at, with Doug and Stacy's uh, off grid with Doug and Stacy, and also because they ha la la la. Hey everybody, this is Tommy with Alderman Farms. I describe myself as a former bee haver, uh, not a beekeeper because we had bees but couldn't keep them. Um, but I'm excited to turn that around and become a beekeeper, specifically a natural beekeeper, a treatment-free beekeeper in uh, long, deep, lay-ins hives. Um, I'm very excited about it, primarily thanks to Doug with Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, who introduced me to the thoughts and teachings and writings of Dr. Leo Sharaskin, uh, who is a very nice gentleman who originated from Russia and uh, has edited some books from the, you know, from the experts on uh, raising bees in horizontal hives. Uh, down in the description of this video, you'll find a link to Dr. Leo's site, and uh, I'll go ahead and link some of the books he recommends uh, that you can take a look at those too. But today, the reason I'm shooting this video today is because I've got some goodies in the mail. I got a brand new swarm box and my first uh, 19 frame uh, deep layins hive that have arrived from horizontalhive.com. And so I'm going to do an unboxing and we're going to get to look at them and touch them and feel them and stuff uh, for the very first time together. Um, and so I'm ready to unbox the swarm trap first because it's the smaller of the two boxes. Okay, let's get to that right now. All right, here we go. Here is the swarm trap and I think I've got a pack of uh, 14 sheets of foundation. Uh, that we ordered from HorizontalHive.com. There's no S, HorizontalHive.com. And also, Patty reminded me that there are there's some great videos with uh, Dr. Leo Sharashkin over at uh, Doug and Stacy's channel, uh, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. So we'll link those videos in the description. Uh, so you can go see, if you're not familiar with Dr. Leo, uh, his organization, HorizontalHive.com. I encourage you to go to the website. He's got lots of free resources, um, and uh, you can learn a lot. And then go to Doug and Stacy's channel, All Free with Doug and Stacy, and look for the Horizontal Hive videos that Doug has shot uh, with Dr. Leo. Um, so I've spent quite a bit of money to purchase a swarm trap and a 19 frame deep body layens hive from horizontalhive.com. Um, why did I spend them? Because Dr. Leo provides free plans for you to build your own. Two reasons. Number one, I'm not very handy and <laughs> plans are difficult for me. And so I thought to myself, if I had uh, uh, a finished one of each of these to look at, then the plans would probably make more sense to me and I, I feel confident in my ability to build additional swarm traps and additional uh, lay-ins hives. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is I, I, I wanted to buy these things from Dr. Leo as a way of saying thanks uh, to, for him reawakening the passion and excitement in me about uh, natural beekeeping, about catching feral bees as our as our source of bees around here so anyway enough about that here we go let's see what's in the box it came via ups as you might imagine uh shipping was substantial um this box with the swarm trap in it and the package of uh foundation weighed 29 pounds. The second <clears throat> box with the hive itself in it weighs 99 pounds according to UPS. So very tightly packaged in here with uh, a variety of bubble wraps. There's a packing slip. I've got uh, a, a sheet of explanations of what you know how to use a lot of frequently asked questions it looks like 
um, what to do, how to hang the swarm, how often to check it. That's awesome. I didn't know that that came because I was just been thinking I need to uh, refresh myself in the books and with the videos of how to proceed. Also, a similar sheet of instructions that came with the 14 uh, pack of foundation. And it's gonna be quality foundation coming from Dr. Leo. And so, I'm, I, well, should I open that? Yeah, I'm gonna open it. <clears throat> so you can see what, what I'm talking about when I say foundation. Ooh, I can smell it. It smells like bees. Oh, I wonder if there are any bees in this box. I guess we'll find out. So this was a pack of 14, oh, and it looks like they're small cell foundation too. I could be wrong about that, but 14 sheets of what appears to me to be small cell foundation wax uh, to allow the, uh, the bees to get a quick start so I've got 14 sheets of that. Um, <clears throat> there may be some more inside the swarm trap. All right, a little piece of newspaper. Let's see, honey, you may have some coupons in here. No, it's came from the uh, shipper kit. All right, this looks like the lid, quality construction. Look at that. And it's very light, so they're using, I don't know what kind of wood that is, but it, it's, it's pretty light. And it is covered with uh, aluminum, for any of you uh, UK folks out there. Aluminum for Yanks. Covered with aluminum or tin uh, to protect it from the weather. Very nice. Nicely done. Another sheet of cardboard separation. All right, let's see. What have I got in here? Oh ho, man, it even came with a ratchet strap. Nice, so it's got uh, a ratchet strap, it's got, oh there is, it came with a little bit of propolis. Nice, to, to rub the propolis on the inside of the swarm trap to make it smell like bees. It came with a little bottle of lemongrass oil extract. Um, it has come with some tubes, slow release tubes. Uh, to put the uh, lemon oil extract in so that it seeps out at just the right uh, frequency and doesn't become overwhelming to, to, uh, to ward the bees off, but rather just enough to, um, to attract them. And then, like I said, that comes with a ratchet strap. I've got plenty, but it's nice to have another one to secure the... Uh, I'm going to want to secure the trap to the tree but I'm also going to want to secure the lid to the top of the trap. Another smaller box inside. Not sure what this is. I don't remember what all comes in the kit. A lot of this stuff can be bought separately, but there's a savings if you... Uh... Oh, wow. Hey, that's cool. He sent me a copy of Keeping Bees with a Smile. I've already got this book. So you know what that means I may need to do with this one? We might need to do a giveaway um, to, to give this book away because it's an amazing, amazing, well-written, such a pleasant book to read. Uh, so I didn't know that was coming. That's, uh, that's amazing. That's amazing. All right. I kind of wondered if that was a book because it felt like a book. That's exciting. Thank you, Dr. Leo. You are the best. So I think that's everything out of the box except for the trap itself. Let me make sure before I move this box out of the way. Yep. Oh, the trap itself. So, I'm not going to put the lid on it right now, but... Uh, Yep, so it came with, I guess I need to loosen that up because it's pretty doggone tight. I can't turn it. Yeah, it's too tight. But you've got a, a, the hole, the entrance hole is right here, right under this solid piece. 
I need to loosen this up so I can turn it so that I can have this open section right over the opening to allow ease of entrance and that's the way it'll stay when I put the trap up. Um, then it's got a queen excluder grill or when I get ready to shut them in there and transport the hive, I can put this vent cover section over it. Can you see that? Yeah, so vent cover, queen excluder, opening, and then just uh, completely closed off. And it's got a nice little thumb thing here that will allow me to turn it when I loosen that screw. There's an upper hole on the side of the box. Let's see if this one will turn. No, I gotta loosen that screw too. Um, so two entrances. It's got ledges on the front and the back so that the lid will sit down uh, snugly there. And it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven deep lay-ins frames. I don't have a hive tool out here with me. Let's see if I can get it out, yep. So, Dr. Leo has plans for these on his site to make your own. And now that I see one, um, I think I'll be excited to build some more. He even has plans for a little jig that you can build uh, for stringing them with this wire. He sells the wire. Everything you need, really. So, let me see if all of these are, yep, there's no foundation on these. Uh, so, that's fine, um, because I've got the foundation. So let me move this stuff, and we'll put this top like that, and it sits, actually it doesn't sit quite down on there, but oh, I see, that's handles. I get it. So the lid doesn't sit down on this. That's handles. Makes for easy carrying. And so um, what I need to do is uh, right now, today is February 22nd. It's currently 51 degrees. It was like 30 last night. So we had had some warm weather and I was thinking, and we've been seeing a few bees. So I was thinking maybe it's time to get this thing out there. Uh, but I'm going to do some research for it first to make sure I'm putting it out at the right time. Uh, and so now, let's take a look at our hive, shall we? Well, have mercy this thing is heavy. UPS has got a caution tape on here that says heavy package, over 70 pounds. Yeah, well, the shipping weight uh, said that it was 99 pounds and it's every bit of that. Um, but also it's just kind of big and bulky. So I, I, I tried a couple of, Patty says she should have been filming me, uh, watching me try to get it out of the van. Um, Patty heard the UPS coming, the UPS truck coming and she was able to jump in the van and get down to the gate. So the UPS guy put it straight into the van, which was very nice. And uh, I couldn't get it out by myself. So uh, Patty had to muscle up and, and carry one into the box and we did it. And we both sat around kind of, <sighs> for a few minutes before we start this second phase of unboxing and I'm gonna have to probably just cut the box away rather than pick it up out of here uh, for you to see all right so here we go this is the 19 frame deep body lay-ins hive and I have no idea which way the hive is facing inside this box but I guess we'll find out taped together pretty well, uh, really well. Uh, the box is in great shape, so kudos to UPS that the box did not get banged up and destroyed. Um, got some, just some cardboard too. They do a really good job of, uh, at horizontalhive.com filling up the empty space inside the boxes. Uh, on the, if you remember on the swarm trap, it had bubble wrap. In here, they've got just cardboard boxes or pieces of cardboard boxes uh, taking up the airspace to create a tighter fit. So that's very well done. There's really no room for the hive in here to bounce around. They do have some 
uh, styrofoam corners to protect the cardboard box from the corners of the hive lid, which, like the swarm trap, is covered with uh, metal. And so the corners are kind of sharp. You got more cardboard packing taking up space in here. It's really good because we, Patty and I, noticed that when we were packing it, I guess we didn't notice while we were carrying it, but it does occur to me there was no sliding around inside the box. Let's see. All right. Here's the lid. Looks like it's made out of a, uh... oh nice. So it's got, there are ventilation holes at the top. Vent holes at the top, and you probably can't tell from there, but if I turn it around, thusly, you can tell that on the inside, those holes are covered with a screen that is glued down and stapled down so that, you know, the, those holes are strictly for ventilation. There's another set on the other end of the box as well. Uh, let's see. The hive is heavy. Please team lift. So we've got informational packets. Uh, there's a coupon code for future orders. And it looks to me like the hive is upside down in here. So I think, Patty... All right, so I'm not sure what these are for. Yes, I do. That's for, no, I don't think it's handles. I think it's for, it could be. It could be handles. I bet you're right. I thought it was going to be doors to close the doors, but, but the way they're cut at an angle, and I'm going to feel stupid if, if it turns out not to be this, but I think it is handles. So this side will go up against the frame, and this side will allow you to kind of have a little angle up in there. So let me do this. Let me cut the box away. How about that? And so here it is. Uh, we uh, had to lift this big sucker out of there and turn it around or turn it up uh, right side up because it was in the box upside down uh, and turn it around so that you could see the entrances, the hive entrances. There are two of them. Now, I don't want to get off into beekeeping stuff because I, I may remember something wrong and uh, I'm certainly not an expert, but it's possible with two entrances to put a divider board down the middle of it um, and start two hives, you know, have next door neighbor colonies. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. We're probably, uh, probably not, uh, but I probably will close up one of the entrances, pick a side, one side over the other. Uh, put a divider board just uh, that I will, uh, as, the, as, the, as the colony develops and strengthens, move the divider board further and further uh, to give them more and more room to expand. Again, 19 frames, deep frames. I don't remember. I should have been ready for this. I don't remember the measurements, but they're deep. Um, also, one of the important things about this hive is it is made out of two by lumber, meaning the walls on this hive are an inch and a half thick because a two by four is not two inches anymore. Back in the day they used to be, but a two by four is an inch and a half by three and a half. Uh, and so this, this hive is going to be super insulated. Uh, we typically don't have long, brutal winters here, but we do have occasionally temperatures dipping down into the teens. But guess what? We do have, quite often, we have heat in the summertime uh, that rises up into the triple digits. Well, insulation is good for protecting from cold, but also from heat. Uh, so I'm really excited about having the thick wall hives with the nice, uh, the nice uh, top to go on it. Um, also, this was, I thought it was a surprise, but it's not a surprise. The... Um, Oh, I do notice a little boo-boo, Patty. I do have a broken 
piece here. Uh, it's no big deal. Um, I was bragging on UPS. I don't know if you can see it on the on the video, but I got a cracked piece right here. Obviously, when it, it must have got dropped on a corner or something, it had those styrofoam pieces up on the, the top of the lid that was up on top of this. Uh, so, did get a little damage in shipping. No big deal. It's not going to affect the functionality of the hive. But what I was saying was, I thought, I thought this was a surprise at the moment. Uh, it says on this packing slip, the lay inside with 19 frames, and it's handwritten plus seven sheets of foundation for your swarm trap kit. And I thought, oh, wasn't that nice of them? <laughs> but then I remembered, wait a minute, it's a swarm trap kit, so it came with it. They just had more room to pack it in with the hive as opposed to in the box with the swarm trap kit. So that's great. That means I've got I've got seven sheets for the uh, for the trap, and I've got uh, fourteen sheets uh, for the hive. I'm not going to put them all in there. I think the idea. I, I, I don't know. I'm probably saying something wrong. I got I got to refresh my reading, um, refresh my video watching before we deploy these things. I have to build a stand for it to sit on. I got to paint it. Uh, by the way, I'm painting it. I'm painting the whole thing LSU yellow, and I'm going to paint a purple LSU on the front uh, so the bees can recognize their home and shout, Go Tigers, every time they come in and out. Um, but uh, what was I about to say, Patty? You have no idea. It just went, Pew! thought about LSU, it just blew my mind. Oh, about the foundation. I got to refresh my memory, but I don't think it's necessary or even advisable. Uh, to put all 14 sheets of foundation in here. Uh, it may be that I need to alternate them. I just need to put some in. Uh, I know some people out there don't put any. They want their bees to do it all, and I get that. Um, but I don't know. I'm going to do the research. I've got the foundation if I need it or if they need it. So that's a lot of jabbering, but there it is. All righty. So we unboxed it all, and now i got cardboard boxes all over the house, and Patty's shaking the broom at me, telling me, that stuff's got to go. Uh, it really is. You can't hardly walk in the floor because I've got all this cardboard spread out everywhere. Um, but I'm excited. Patty's excited. And uh, we are not only excited about the bees, but we're excited about sharing our journey to successful natural beekeeping with you. Uh, we know that there will be bumps and bruises, but hey, what is our motto? where life on the farm just got real. So we're not gonna, we'll be willing to share the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, and we hope you'll join us uh, on our journey. In the meantime, don't forget to go over to, look in the link uh, in the description of this video, there'll be some links to Dr. Leo's site, Dr. Leo Sharashkin's site, horizontalhive.com, and also to Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Uh, YouTube channel where you can find, in fact, I'll see if he's got a playlist and I'll link directly to uh, the playlist that he has that features Dr. Leo. And you can get excited. I'm just warning you right now, you start watching this guy and you're going to catch the bee fever. And uh, I hope you do because the bees need our help and they are willing to help us in return and give us delicious goodies. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Almost forgot. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but as you saw a little earlier in the video, uh, Dr. Leo blessed us with a copy of Keeping Bees with a Smile, and uh, this is a, a very entertaining and informative book. It's so easy to read. Uh, Dr. Leo translated it. It was originally written in Russian, and uh, it will, it will uh, cause you to love bees even more uh, than you do right now, if you do, and it'll cause you to love them if you don't. Anyway, so we'll be thinking about how we're going to give this away, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to give this book away to somebody who really, really wants it. So stay tuned.